Um, I feel a little stupid asking this. Well, like okay. dumping syndrome. Uh huh. That sounds really crude. Like that sounds <laughs> like someone's like dumping. <laughs> it, taking a dump. Pretty much is. But like they keep it keeps describing it as like oh your stomach. It just doesn't really absorb anything. It just kind of dumps it through. Yep. <laughs> so that literally is what it is. Yeah. It's, just, it's a malabsorption kind of a thing. Or yes. non-absorption. It's like malabsorption plus holy crap peristalsis. So right. like it pushes everything through super fast. Um, so what are what causes dumping syndrome? I don't know. It's just mainly an irritation to the stomach. Like when we do... Um, what is it called? Like a gastric surgery. Anything involving stomach surgery with the stomach can cause dumping syndrome. About fifty percent of patients actually get dumping syndrome. Okay. Fifty. Um, wow. Yeah. And it just. What are we gonna do for this patient? Keep them close to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're gonna. I would worry about skin integrity. I mean, yes, they're like absolutely. You know, and I think don't. What did, it, what did it say? It was like, pat them dry. <laughs> just like, don't like rub that area. And yeah. Be careful on fluid balance, you know, yeah. electrolytes. Yeah. Um, fluid and electrolytes is the biggest thing that we're worried about. They're probably going to be malnourished. I mean, if that goes, I don't know how long that goes on, but if it goes on for a while, they're not absorbing yeah. anything. Plus, the body thinks mm-hmm. that it's getting all of this food, and so it's going to release insulin and you're not going to be absorbing anything. And so you're going to have all the signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia also. So anxious, sweaty, things like that. Um, So if we've got a patient who's like pooping every 15 minutes after they eat, like what are we going to do? Because we need to get them food. They might have to be TPN. I mean, obviously, like, hopefully the doctor is involved, and I would, you know, if he doesn't know, I would let him know and be like, look, this is an issue. Yeah. Um, But is it more of an acute problem or a chronic problem from surgery? It's acute. Good. (laughs) Um, With these patients, they usually have an exacerbation of it right after surgery, and so, like, it's really bad right after, and we'll keep them on TPN, and then usually it's it's to where we can manage it and do like a couple of interventions to kind of keep it from being super severe. Um, it, it just results with time. And so they'll still have dumping syndrome, but they'll be pooping an hour after they eat instead of 15 minutes after they eat. So what we can do is teach them like to avoid fluids right after or while they're eating because that can increase um, uh, peristalsis and stuff. Yeah. Um, avoid okay. caffeine because that's a kind diuretic. of diuretic. Mm-hmm. Um, avoid carbs because carbs increase peristalsis also. Really? Yeah. I don't know. So just a couple of little things that we can do to kind of teach them to keep their dumping syndrome under control. <laughs> okay, now your carbs. Caffeine. We can also teach them like I don't know, like little things like lay on their left side. So they're laying down, kind of have gravity work with them to avoid pushing everything through super fast. 